Hey there, engineers. Welcome to Civil Engineering Academy. We're looking at a problem from probability today, um, specifically from the law of total probability, and it reads like this. A deck of 52 cards has four suits. There's hearts, spades, clubs, and diamonds. If one card is drawn randomly from the deck, what is the probability that either a diamond or a spade will be drawn? So if we look up in our handy dandy FE reference handbook and we look up the law of total probability, it is listed as the probability of A or B, and there's different notations for this, and um, the, the notation that's listed in your FE reference manual, in my opinion, isn't the best, so we'll put both of them down. But basically, the law of total probability is um, the probability that A or B happens. And uh, another notation for this is A or B. It's kind of an upside down, or uh, it's kind of a U-shaped symbol, horseshoe-shaped symbol. Um equals the probability that A happens plus the probability that B happens. And then we subtract. And again, these are two, two ways of um, showing the law of total probability. It's just two different uh, notations. And I like the top one better. But then it's minus the probability that both A and and B have happened. And in your FE reference manual, it'll it lists it like this, A comma B. Intuitively, this top one makes more sense to me. That's the way I like to list it. But in your FE reference manual, it, uh, it looks like this. So intuitively, if you know about uh, cards, you could look at this and say, I don't need the law of total probability to solve this. I know I've got four suits. I've got 52 total cards. That means I'd have 52 divided by 4 uh, cards of each suit, or 13, right, of each of each suit. Um, I could just intuitively figure this out. If I, if I uh, draw one card out of that total stack of 52 cards, I'm going to randomly have uh, a chance of getting um, either a diamond or a spade is going to be you know, 50%. I've got four suits, and I'm going to draw just one card. I could kind of intuitively reason that uh, my chances are going to be 50% here and, and pick uh, answer C. But let's just, uh, just so we get a kind of a feel for how the law of total probability works, let's work this using the law, okay? So the law, uh, this is the law that... Uh, says that the probability that both A and B occur, and since our events are mutually exclusive, right, they can't happen at the same time, only one card is being drawn at, uh, at a time, then we could say that the probability of A or B happening, meaning getting a diamond, if we say that that's probability A, and the spade will say is probability B, that uh, A or B happens. Probability is the probability that A happens, which is 13 out of 52, right? There's 13 um, diamonds in the deck, and there's also 13 spades in the deck. So the probability that B happens is 13 over 52. And again, since our events are mutually exclusive, they can't happen at the same time. We're only pulling out one card at a time. The uh, probability that A and B happen, the probability that both a diamond and a spade are drawn out of the deck is zero. That can't happen. Okay. So our, we're checking our intuition using the uh, law of total probability. And so if we add those up, we're going to get 26 over 52. 
which equals one half, which is approximately, well, it's exactly, I shouldn't say approximately, 50%. So intuitively we could have gone through and, and figured this out, but using the, the total law of probability, uh, we also got to the same answer. So answer C. Hope that helps you out, and we will see you on the next one.